Sup my friends and welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. This is the Dowest Dragon, but you can call me Toasty, you sexy son of a bitches. And this is Would You Rather. And yeah, let's Would You Rather. Would you rather be Batman or Superman? I know a lot of people really love Batman. I guess there's a lot of people that like Superman too. But I always seem to find more people that just love Batman. I don't hate Batman. I used to just not really care about him. And then I played the Batman video games and I was like, this guy's pretty cool, you know? The thing about being Batman is it's just like, I'm insanely rich and I can build all this really cool stuff. Superman is my favorite superhero. And it's not because he's like super powerful, but I guess in a way it is. I just relate to Superman a lot more than I do Batman. I don't know. I've just had a lot of weird stuff happen in my life that I don't really want to go into detail because people will believe what they will believe, but I actually grew up in a house where there's like ice cubes grew on rocks and it also turned my dad, who was a firm uh, critic of, you know, Bigfoot. So he didn't believe in Bigfoot whatsoever. He's been a hunter all his life and one of the best trackers ever. He just didn't believe in Bigfoot, but he saw some stuff up at this place that we used to live, and he was like, I believe in Bigfoot now. Needless to say, I've had some just larger than life and not really easily explained by science experiences. So the idea of a person who's flying at the speed of light it doesn't seem that far-fetched to me. I just relate more to the Superman mentality. And it's like this whole striving to just be as good as possible, despite everything. I mean, Batman, he's he flirts with the law and he, you know, does some really heavy interrogating. He's a little bit dark, you know, he's the Dark Knight compared to Superman, which despite whatever the world might throw at him, he tries to remain a paragon of virtue and justice. He's just good, and he's always trying to do the best thing. He's like a knight. And that way he's kind of one of my role models. Another thing about Superman is that he's an alien, and he doesn't quite fit into the world, which is a theme that a lot of us can relate to. I have had some stuff just happen to me growing up and I was just sort of pushed to the side of everybody. So that whole alien and not really fitting or connecting with people, that just kind of resonates with me. 100% I would want to be Superman. There we go. And 54% 54% of people would rather be Batman. If you could choose to stay one age forever, would you rather be 21 or be 10? Hmm. I mean, if you're 21, most of the things are open for you. I guess you can't rent your own car, but that's about it. But, like, you can drink, but I don't even care about drinking. But you have to be, like, working and stuff like that. To be 10 forever would just kind of suck because you'd have to live with your parents or you would have to depend on others for support because you couldn't get hired for a job or whatever. But I think I'd rather be 21 just because, yeah, and 81% of the people agree with me. But yeah, would you rather be a tomboy or be a girly girl? Uh... <laughs> I would kind of like to just be kind of somewhere in the middle. There's aspects to each gender that are just kind of cool. But it would be fun, considering that I'm a guy, to be able to explore some of the other gender roles and norms. So I want to go with that one. Only 40% of the people agree with me. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> There's more stuff 
about being a tomboy, I guess, that I would find appealing. Then again, it's just gender roles and gender norms, I should say. And girls and guys can act however the fuck they want. So it's like you call a girl a tomboy because they like being physically active or they like trucks or whatever. It's like that doesn't make you boyish. That just makes you a fucking person. But yeah, would you rather marry a 10 year old and have a fateful relationship while receiving a hundred thousand per hundred thousand dollars per year or not? What the fuck is this question? Oh my god. I would be marrying legit somebody half my age. <laughs> More than half my age. Wait a minute, less than half my age. I don't know. That's just weird. Have a faithful relationship with a 10 year old? That's gross. No. 53% of people said that they would do it. Who the fuck thought up of that question? Added by Anonymous, I'm hardly surprised. <laughs> would you rather be best friends with Harry Potter or be best friends with Katniss Everdeen? Oh, that's like the Hunger Games, right? Well, I don't want the Hunger Games to exist because that's just hell on Earth. So I want to go with Harry Potter just because I'd rather Harry Potter that universe be real because well, there's some hellish things about it, but <laughs> at least it's not a fucking dystopia. But yeah, 61% of the people agree with me, yay! Would you rather watch only dramas for the rest of your life? Watch only comedies for the rest of your life? Oh. My heater started. <laughs> this will be the last question then, and... Comedy is 100% though. 86% of the people agree with me. I'm hardly surprised. Nothing against dramas. Drama is actually a very vague term. I watch comedies all the time. Left to my own devices, I choose comedy all the time. Leave your own answers to these questions down in the comments. Let's compare and contrast. Oh, I wanted to add this because I go on a lot about sharing sharing is caring and it really helps people grow but my friend is like it's okay if you want to be at, like at the end of your video if you really like this could you please share it or whatnot so yeah that <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this bit of the dragon's treasure pretend a like is a mic and drop it if you haven't already i appreciate if you showed that sub button some love stay beautiful